When planning long term, watch a good place to start for inheritance planning. How can I ensure that my heirs are able to access my Bitcoin funds when they might not be familiar with Bitcoin? Are there any trustless and simple ways to do this? Um, Jessifer, I'm going to refer you to um, the specialized uh, book and research done by Pamela Morgan Esquire. Uh, this is a book in which I was involved in the technical advice, um, and it's called Crypto Inheritance Planning for uh, Owners. And crypto inheritance planning is uh, crypto asset inheritance planning. Uh, is a book that explains the complexities of doing inheritance planning in the crypto space. Um, and one of the challenges with dealing with this space is that you need to have both a technical plan and a legal plan to be successful. If you only implement a technical plan without a legal plan, you can run into all kinds of problems when that technical plan is executed. And of course, if you only do a legal plan and there is no technical plan for access to key material, um, the legal plan really is uh, irrelevant because you can't access the actual funds. A lot of people here uh, in our space approach this purely from a technology perspective, and they often miss the human element, especially the degree to which our heirs will be thoroughly confused by the instructions that you might give them. So we do know one mechanism that is likely to fail is to rely on heirs to either manage crypt uh, crypto key material uh, to hold it securely or to be able to decipher your instructions when you're not around. Now, remember, um, from the perspective of your heirs, the, the real expert is you. They're, they're going to look for your advice in order to understand crypto. And if you're unavailable or gone forever, um, they have a problem because the only person who they trusted to know about this is gone. So one of the important things you do in your inheritance plan is identify people who can act as helpers. And this is probably one of the most significant areas of advice and analysis that is in the Crypto Asset Inheritance Planning book. Um, because um, if you don't identify helpers, your relatives are going to end up where? Reddit? Twitter, asking some stranger to help them recover the Bitcoin, that's a recipe for disaster and your relatives are very likely to get scammed um, and have someone steal the Bitcoin. Uh, it's also important to um, start somewhere. And you know, one of the big things here is that in an area so complex and difficult uh, to manage, especially when dealing with death, uh, people are very reluctant to do anything uh, because they're not sure what to do. So um, the the really nice thing about this book, which I can't recommend enough, is that uh, the first chapter is called Get It Done. Uh, and it's about getting something done to make sure that your relatives have a starting point. And the first important thing is to let them know um, that you actually have some crypto, which starts with a letter to loved ones. Now, the advice is not to list all of your assets and where they are and where the keys can be found or leave passwords and things like that, because of course, the uh, issue with inheritance planning is that you want your heirs and only your heirs to receive your money uh, after and only after you pass or are incapacitated. You don't want your heirs to be able to steal from you um, before and you don't want other people to be able to steal from you before. So leaving a full map of where your keys are or your keys themselves is probably not a good idea. Um, you, you need to have some degree of planning and security around that. But you have to start somewhere and just letting them know that you own some crypto um, is an important first step. So uh, all of the uh, resources that you might want to use for this are also available for free. Um, on the website empoweredlaw.com, uh, where you can find this under open source licenses. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free, so if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.